Hello, 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 hello. Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. What day of the week is it? I should know this. Leave me a comment if you're here. Hello. Ah. I'm here. Thank God I put tennis shoes on today. Oh, golly. <laughs> Hi, Angelica. I just want to say thank heavens this morning I put on running shoes. <laughs> Sorry about the hair. Just going to. I'm here. <laughs> I literally just came skidding in here, but I'm here. Uh, so I am streaming this on Your Artful Journey. I am streaming this on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page. My name is Tracy Weinzeffel. It is 5.30. I am still on time. Hello, everybody. Connie, Cindy, Carla, Connie, uh, Green Lady. That might not be Green Lady. Margaret, hi. Today somebody asked me, or somebody told me that I should be drinking decaf coffee. <laughs> or I don't drink coffee. I almost didn't have the heart to tell her that this is what you get. Um, I had a really busy day, and um, I usually get the first 15 minutes or so to talk. So I'm going to chit chat. This is not the best shirt to be wearing, but that's what I'm wearing. I could put something else on, but I can't. So uh, let me just tune in here and make sure everything is okay. Uh, can y'all hear me? Oh. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all see me? <laughs> You did? Oh my God, I had camera issues. Okay, Loretta, thank you. Loretta said, I love, oh, that's not Loretta. Loretta's, that's not Loretta. Uh, she said, I had fun during your jelly arts class today. I did a free demo today. And, um, oh, come on, stop moving. Okay. Y'all are talking so fast that I can't even, okay, there we go. Uh, I did a free demo today. It ended up being um, Christmas and I had some camera issues. It was a great class. Did you all see what I posted after? I mean, I couldn't see what was going on. I got 10 cards out of that. Um, yeah, I mean, it was here, I'm just, let me make sure they're all okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> they're all in different. Um, so there's one. I, I shared photos from today. You did. Oh my goodness. They all turned out great, but um, I had a few, I had issues. I had issues and when you have camera issues, it becomes a thing of like stress. Oh, you did love the card. You do love the cards. Thank you. Oh my gal. Okay. I mean, I got 10 done in less than an hour. And let me just tell you how my day started. I, um, I posted these on my Facebook page. So I couldn't see what was going on. Um, and then I missed a few things and I, I kept saying Christmas, but it's all holiday. Thank you so much. So it wasn't like my finest performance, but it was like, I, I got to do what I got to do. And I could see that I was still live, but I wasn't absolutely quite sure. So it was, um, I posted them all on my Facebook page. They're all done. I got 10 of them done and people, um, somebody said, I don't like that you created like, um, I, I used all the ghost prints 
uh, meaning there was I was just wiping paint off on pieces pieces of paper, but I used every single one of those prints. Uh, thank you, Patricia. If you want to order the kit, let me know. I love those stencils. It comes with the mask and the um, stencil. Oh, thank you. That was very sweet. You are always amazing. It was just not my finest hour. Um, and uh, we're going to paint. I usually ask for about 15 minutes. I need to calm down from the day. Maybe that's part of it. Um, it was real. It was so real. And then um, I was like, I'm just not going to, um, I'm not going to show. I'm not going to show that I'm stressed over it. But right when I was done, I glued them on and I realized there's something to be had and something to be said for creating on the fly and making it work and not caring about the perfectionism. What was so funny was the owner went, those are so amazing. And I was like, huh? <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was like, I couldn't figure out what was being filmed and what wasn't. But we're all good now. Thank you so much. Um, I had an amazing time. They're all posted on my Facebook page. They're all done with that kit, three stencils. That can be Christmas, Kwanzaa, uh, Hanukkah, you name it, those were all there. Um, the cards look darker than they really are. They turned out beautiful. I photographed them. Yep, I like, yeah. That was, lighting is always an issue. I'm, uh, you know, thank you. All right, um, last night too, I painted until the wee of the night. It's probably not a good idea. I got into such a group. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. I got into such a groove last night that, um, oh, let's see if I can do this. Okay, I, I, I started filming last night and um, hopefully this will focus in, okay. Is that good? Is that good? Is that good? Um, I got into such a groove last night into painting that it was like 2 a.m. by the time I went to bed. Um, it was crazy, but this is full of texture and love, and I let myself go. I let it all go, and let. Um, so that was amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to give you one little quick story about how my day started. Just pretty much how my day has gone. We're going to do watercolors tonight, by the way. Um, so I, um, I'll share photos of it. I shared photos last night. Y'all have to follow my Facebook page because I post some stuff at obscure hours. Is it recorded? Uh, that was, it is recorded. I recorded it uh, while I was watching a show about rodeoing last night. Um, but I haven't, I haven't turned it into anything. I'll edit it and make sense of it. So this morning, um, I work a daytime job. And um, I'm gonna just hone in on my, hone in. I work a daytime job and this morning at like 745, nobody really calls me in the morning and I don't give out my personal cell phone because I work and they transfer all the calls automatically go to me. But nobody really calls me before 9 a.m. And this morning the phone rings at like 745 while I'm changing my clothes and um, I'm in nothing. I'm in my birthday suit. But I live at home alone now. My kids have all moved out. I had just taken off my pajamas, gotten into the shower, gotten out of the shower, and um, I went uh, birthday suit. My phone rang, and it was work, and I figured it was one of the guys. You know, they normally can't get in the gate. Something happened. The power went out. They call me for everything. And um, it was a customer of mine. So they're like, is this an okay time? We have set up a conference call. And I'm like, um, I don't think it's really convenient uh, for me to be on a conference call right now. But I can, you know, like, do you have any questions? I can help you out. They were in a meeting and they needed some information. And I gave it to them. <laughs> so I, I figure I'm home alone. I ran into my studio and 
thought nothing of it. I am talking. Handled what I needed to handle. The pool guy <laughs> walked past the window and waved. Might not be my pool guy for long. <sighs> that never happens. I miss up at 5.30. I am normally answering phone calls. I have Zoom calls. I, I, I schedule everything in the morning. Uh, nobody, they know not to call me from work. One of two things is going to happen. <laughs> First off, I'm hoping that my studio, which is like up above, is higher, like, normally the dog barks at him and I know my dog doesn't like him, but that happened this morning. Not really sure he really was just doing the normal wave and yeah. So that is how my morning started and I feel like I have, <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a, a, one quick story. We'll start painting. I'm going to, I'm going to like, as we're painting, just tape up my book a little bit. So, um, and if I need to lighten this up, I can. If I need to zoom out, I can. I can do anything you want me. I can do anything you can do better. So, a long, long time ago, when I newly had children, I used to have a pool guy who, <laughs> Debbie just said my flags were flying. I had a lot of flying stuff happening. Um, I'm not going to worry about it because I am who I am, but my dog doesn't really like him, so I'm probably going to be double charged next month, which I don't mind. But anyway, uh, many moons ago, probably 10 or so years ago when we had landlines, um, we had a pool guy who looked like the guy from the fisherman's, what was the, um, Gordon's, fisherman seafood thing you know the guy with the yellow raincoat and so somebody called my landline i went running out grabbed the phone turned around he was out behind where the pool is with the sliding glass door it was an engagement of deers in the headlight look and um Shortly after that, he retired. So I don't know, and, and sold it to the fellow that now manages my pool. There's a high probability that I just drove this guy into retirement. I couldn't believe it. I was mortified. I'm sure, I'm almost positive that maybe it was more me than him, and I think he couldn't see as much as I think he could. But let's be clear, at this age, at pandemic happiness weight, maybe this isn't where you want to be. So anyway, uh, <laughs> like that Kathy just said, next month should be free. It was horrific. It was not pleasant. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Okay. I am wondering if one pool guy talked to the other and said, hey, I'm selling you this business, but this one girl you might want to watch out for. That was my morning, and I've been skidding into everything ever since, um, and I apologize for that, but here's where I am in life, and I'm just going to be honest. And uh, there was a lady on, um, on Jelly Arts, and she said, you should think about decaf, and I don't even drink coffee, so maybe she's right. Yeah, <laughs> I love that everybody's saying they might get a discount. I don't think so. All right, as it is, I'm sure he comes to this house and my dog just barks like crazy. And this is me. Um, this was me when the dog started barking. No, 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 we're not barking. It was more like this. No, we're not barking. Okay. All right, who wants to paint? Alice. <laughs> she said, it looks like you've lost me. I have a bathrobe. 
I was on my way to the shower. We hadn't gone there yet. My nest is empty. And just so we're clear, Thursday is pool day. Nobody should be here on Wednesday. I mean, I calculated all my risks in my head. And then the inevitable happened. Okay. <laughs> I do have, I have six bathrooms. I'm all over the place. I know it's Wednesday. Thursday is pool day. Thursday, I don't do this. Thursday, I'm not home. All right. I can't, I'm running through a pool, guys, like crazy. All right, let's change cameras. Let's stand up. Let's breathe. Yeah, you can never calculate all the risks. It's gonna happen. I just, I'm moving stuff over. How are we looking? I feel like we're a little dark. So I'm gonna lighten things up a little bit. <laughs> if that doesn't give you an indication of how my day is gone, I don't know what will. All right. I don't mind. By the way, I am 51 years old. You don't like what you weren't supposed to be here and seen? I really don't care. <laughs> Can you all see what's going on? Oh, we're going to relax. We're going to enjoy. We're going to take a deep breath. And um, I, I'm going to say one thing uh, because this is who I am. I'm going to say seven things. It's um, uh, Tomorrow marks the day of one year ago, I lost a dear friend of mine. And so today I'm holding that guy in my heart. And um, that's my intention. I always recommend on these times when you're sitting down to art journal. Yesterday, I sat down and art journal until one or two in the morning. Um, and I wasn't like in a rush. I was watching, uh, by the way, I was watching uh, something called The Starling on Netflix. Um, it was riveting. It was riveting. And um, tomorrow marks one year. And I just want to say, uh, Wes, tonight is for you. And if you play any more jokes on me today, <laughs> I'm going to be really mad at you. <laughs> okay, Wesley, let's go. Um, let's paint. Let's paint. Uh, that's why I always say kind of hold an intention, kind of hold something near and dear to you. I'm going to raise a little bit of this lighting as I can and because I have the sun setting. This is my Sennelier set. I keep kind of settling in here. Uh-oh. I cleaned up my desk space and I rearranged my brushes, which I can't really do. All right. If I rearrange my brushes, uh, then they're not handy to me, and then I get a little crazy. All right, I'm going to pull up. This is a dagger brush. This is a round brush. So dagger brush, round brush. Okay. Let's paint. Put on your red shoes and dance. Okay. I'm not going to really sing to you. Uh, I can't really. Well, I guess I can paint like that. So uh, today, I don't, I, I have no clue what we're doing, but I'm going to take this round brush and dip it in water. Oh, and I'm going to, let's wake up all the watercolors that are here. Wake them up. Good morning. Good morning. We have no idea what we're using, but if you have a spray bottle, waking up your watercolors is the best way to do it. Just spray them down. Then you'll know what's sitting there. All righty. So I don't know what color this is. Ivory black. So that's what I need. I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to attempt something I have never attempted and we're going to hope it works. Okay. And we're going to hope it works. Uh, what is that you ask? I'm wondering what that is to myself. That is called, well, <laughs> It's not going to be like a chalice. I hope it's going to be more like a vase. I could reshape that if I need to. But I was like thinking the vase would go down like so. I don't know. Is that a vase or it looks like a chalice from First Communion? Well, ooh, 
I've kind of gone a little crazy with the size of it. So let's let's just bring it back. I don't really draw. Uh, I've really done this before. Uh, just thought I would just kind of go for it and just see what happens. Uh, I don't know where that begins or that ends. I just thought it would be nice if we had a vase. Sennelier, S-E-N-N-E-L-I-E-R. It's listed on my resources page if you need a link to my resources page. I love this set. Okay, I don't really know where this begins or ends. Um, we're not going to be concerned about it. We'll get it as, like, deep and dark as we can. It might be the chalice that you have first communion on, or in, or from. There we go. What watercolors are you using? I like that large tray of colors, Sennelier. Yeah, that's it. So um, that's. I'm going to dry the brush off, and then I'm just going to. I don't know. This is the base is going to be heavier, and I kind of wish this was rounded a little bit. Okay, we can round it. It can look like a chalice of types. And then, does anybody hope that, like, I can just relax and watch, like, um, uh, uh, what is on tonight? Oh, I hope it's uh, Survivor. So I don't know where that begins or ends, but I'm okay with that. Thank you, Anne has got my back. So um, there's our chalice. Uh, what happens when water, you know, you can go in there and just wipe away, by the way. You can wipe away water, dry off your, or the colors, wipe, uh, take your brush, wipe it away. Good, good, good. All right. Now we're going to have some flowers up here. I really wet those down. So here's some flowers and here's some flowers. You know what else we're going to have? Like a... What do you call those things? Uh, lazy Susan? No, not a lazy Susan. Black eyed Susan. Isn't a lazy Susan what you, um, <laughs> it's a lazy Susan is that round thing that you put on a table. All right. By the way, is anybody, is this the first time, <laughs> is this the first and last time you're watching me paint uh, live? I'm, I'm beginning to think that maybe this could be the first and the last time, but we don't know what those are yet. They're not lazy Susans. They're <laughs> whatever else I said. And I'm just going to. I'm going to, if colors want to run together <laughs> by the day I'm having, by all means, they can run together. Oh, Big Brother's on tonight. Does that mean it's the finale? Are we? Thank you, Hitomi. I need to literally just watch TV and relax tonight. Uh, if colors start to run together, just let them do their thing. Don't get obsessed. Let's put some greenery in there in between. Oh, this is not very round. Let's put some greenery in here too. And I'm not going to, oh, let's rinse off our brush. <laughs> Y'all can't be looking and going, oh, that's what it is now. Yeah, I'm going to go into that vase. We're just going to hope for the best here. Like, is there an orange flower in here? Yeah. Well, there's orange and green now. My flowers don't have to have a situation. Oh, uh, Shirley likes my vase, so we're good. I'm just going to let colors go together. Uh, so we don't know where things begin and things end. Uh, I feel like I need a, like a red something in here, like a rose or a group of something. Is there a red rose in here? Yep, that's up there. 
it's like sticking out. I, I don't really feel like this is going to be something I normally paint, but you got to just go for it. All right. This is something good. And that green is running. That's okay. Let the green run. There's some leaves in there somewhere. All right. I don't know. D does this look like anything? <laughs> Other than a hot mess, which I'll accept. Is this on a table or is it just floating in? Um, I'm okay if it's floating. <laughs> is my table brown? Yeah. My, my table is... Yeah, my table is brown. We're going to be done soon, so I, I haven't even had lunch today. Keep that water going. Keep that water going. Even if you're, even if you're a chalice vase, whatever that is, starts to run, just keep the water. I don't have a, this is not a very large brush, so... All right, the, I, it's on a table. We decided, okay with that, it's on a table. Should be a semi-flat table, not, I didn't even have lunch. I've had one egg and that explains a lot. Of it. And somewhere there is like an established chalice in here. We'll, we'll just make sure it has some sort of base. Okay, good. Uh, this is a no rules. Now, I don't know what's, uh, yeah. A couple of lazy, no, lazy Susans. What are those black eyed Susans? That one got messed up. I don't care. We'll work it out. Just work it out. Just work it. All right, let that dry. <laughs> Say a prayer. And I, I don't think I'm going to add anything else for right now. Like, that's it. How many people right now are saying, what the heck is she doing? And how is this okay? I don't know. It's just the mood I'm in. Not everything has to be a masterpiece. It just has to be done. Um, I feel like the background, like, should be something really light and easy. I wish I was light. Well, not easy, but, um, and then I could, yeah. Does anybody wondering if this is going to remotely look like a base full of, it reminds me of the first communion chalice that, all right. I am going to grab a larger brush and I'm just going to come in here. Just, I mean, I don't need, what is this color? I don't even know what that color is. What would I call this? Emerald green, emerald green, like really faint. Let's really, all right. I didn't really plan on this, but you know what, Tracy, let's just make our day a little more complicated and do something we haven't really done before. But I like to try things and I like to encourage you all to try stuff. So why not just do that? Maybe this is the way I was meant to cap off my day because that's what I was doing. All right. It's like a, and I'm, doesn't have to be perfect by the way I'm and I don't this is real wet over here so I don't need to run it all together uh, we'll blend it in somehow we'll figure that out we'll work it out we'll work it out what is that song it's like a tiktok thing we'll work it out all right and I am kind of wiping it back a little bit because I feel like it got a little dark 
Oops, that sun is just starting to get real harsh around it. All right, we're going to scribble today, people. Dry it up. I love it. I'm definitely a fan of Impressionism. I haven't tried much of it. Well, today's the day. We didn't know we were doing it, but we're doing it. I didn't know we were doing it. Somebody asked if I have a color wheel I recommend. Oh, goodness. Here's my color wheel. It's like three bucks. Nothing. Uh, this was on the, I think, I mean, they have it on the Amazon. I don't, here's a color wheel. Don't even know the name of it. I have, a, I have about 10 of them, which I never use, obviously. <laughs> There you go. Now, I want this to be dry because I'm going to use a pen. And I'm going to come in here and just start scribbling and see what happens. Oh, we like that. We like the teal background. That was a weird color. I don't even know what color was. All right. So I've got my, I'm looking to make sure we're dry here. All right. Well, first off, we're going to discover where the table begins or the wall. And then I'm going to find where those lazy, not lazy Susans, what are they? Can somebody please help me? We're going to scribble. We're going to scribble today. Like, I'm going to hold this brush like so. I'm so hungry. Well, at least we know where a couple of these are. And the good thing about this is the paint kind of black eyed Susan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know what I was meaning to say. So um, that kind of started us out. No. I don't know what this is up here, but this is worth a scribble because it, it it's there. What I'm hoping, <laughs> I didn't read my Jesus Calling book. Maybe that's his way of saying, hey, you needed to slow down this morning so that I could help you through. Um, now you see, I'm kind of just going with the flow. Isn't that, that looks like a flower. And then, like, is this a leaf? Sure, that can be a leaf. That can be a leaf. I am holding this so relaxed. Oh, Big Brother's on right now. Please do not tell me who won. I beg you. I beg you. If I need to turn lighting up, it's because the sun is really a setting. So just let me know. All right. Now, uh, is there another type? How about just like these little... I don't know what these are. But there's little flowers tucked in here. And they're just little, you know, they're kind of lost in the shuffle, but they're there. Oh, well, this is what I needed. I literally feel like painting all night tonight, too. After last night, I was on to some amazing stuff. Sometimes you can kind of look at the paint and it just says, well, you know, this is what I am. And. And we're just, we're just, we're just sketching. Here we go. Like, this is not, okay. This is going to go to here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Who is painting with me? Who just grabbed a pen and said, I'm going to paint along with her? Now, this is going to be in here. But there's going to be some leaves off of this. And just scribble, you know, just scribble. Look at this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna scribble. Not perfect. This is like some sort of rose. Or a carnation. Oh, anybody ever paint and just feel like their blood pressure is coming down or they're breathing more regularly? Uh, if there's nothing more that I hate is when you do yoga and they tell you to breathe and it's like, I am breathing. I have no choice because otherwise I'd be dead. Um, but that's what I feel like when I paint. Uh, loving this mess. Okay, good. We're still um, here. Good. Thank you. I have the news on pause <laughs> until Tracy's done. Okay. Yeah, I like, I like moments of not taking your paint so literal and just seeing what it does for you. Like, you know, is there a leaf over here? We'll have little vines and stuff coming down. You notice when you look at a bouquet of flowers, it's not on the same plane. All the petals are off in different locations. So you really don't know. So all this scribbling that you're doing just kind of helps you not make yourself so literal. All right. I mean, I'm going to do the same thing over here. What is this hot mess? What are you? Talk to me. Talk to me. Well, they still don't know, but they're trying to kind of be like little pointy hydrangeas. Let's move our book. Ugh, let's move our book. Maybe this was what this day was supposed to be about, and we just don't know. Now, once I get going, I can come back in and start filling in all the voids. I got flowers, I got petals. Oh, that black eyed Susan is tucked in there. Thank you. 
You know, there's always some sort of vines in here. Look at that. Color those in. <laughs> Couple of leaves. Well, it must be an okay night if I'm willing to try something new. Um, then I like to come back in and scribble around this lazy Susan, or black-eyed Susan. But we're going to rename those now. All right. Uh, Everybody got so quiet. I love go I love going back to painting. Every third Wednesday or every third Wednesday we do mixed media night, by the way. And see if you kind of have some dead space in there, just go ahead and fill it with a scribble. Fill it with a scribble. Nobody'll know. I mean, this is one heck of a Um, this is looking like my the flower arrangement like four days after it's like seen its best day. So let's let's get some uplifting little bristles up here. All right. And I'm okay with that. Like I'm okay that this is not you can't really tell what all this is. Good. Now as for my ugly table, I love a good like ink pad. I, I use those today. Um, this is like a brown. I'm going to just come in and just fix, you know, my, this is a brown. Oh, that's more than a brown. Let's just blend this up. This is an ink pad. Oops, don't go into that. Good. Now, I don't know if I have anything that would match like a very pretty, well, I have green and I have teal. So I don't know what's going to make a difference, but I'm going to come in and grab, <sighs> I'm going to come in and grab And it helps if you kind of like have little, little curlies, you know how on your arrangements, it's like, oh, there's all these things sticking out. Oh. But I don't really care about like just literal flowers. I'm coming in and just making this as live as I can without killing it, you know? And if you got to darken a few things, uh, let's see if we can lighten up or just, this is a teal. I don't know if that, oh, that's a very pretty teal actually. It's very, so, oh, yep. I can go right up to my, it's very soft. It's actually turning my mint into more. Oh, yeah, I like that. I, I, I like what that's done to my.
What do you think? I can even, anything that is not colored in, if it needs a little bit of color, it can get it. Uh, get it. Ooh, the sun is really setting right now. Oh. Guys, I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. So this is my Aquarella bow pencil, which is just something I like to come in here and add a little definition. And believe it or not, I'm going to kind of lightly go across the edge of my painting. This is this is my art journal. It's a scribble happiness. It's it doesn't have to be like perfect. I mean, last night I was just like, I don't know, I was really shooting for something and I kind of got there, so it took a while, but all right. Now, if any of that turns too dark, too light, too whatever, that aquarellable pencil, by the way, is activated by water. Oops, I need my towel. So if you ever were to just decide, okay, I need to run this a little bit, you can do that. I mean, I should be thinking about where the light is. Probably the light came in over here, which means I would probably take this out and lighten this up a little bit. You can remove color. Yes, you can. And that will, that will soften up. There we go. All I gotta do, that's a Stabilo Aquarellable Pencil. It's activated by water, so if you see, it's kind of like I'm blending it. I do that with my finger as well. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy above. Um, I don't know. There's just something about saying you're going to scribble something and do it. And I did. That I'm okay with. I'm just adding a few more. Ah, you know, this wasn't, this was just an exercise. That's it. I'm okay with an exercise in life. <laughs> I see like every day I'm getting one. Good. Are y'all going to scribble tonight? See, I'm still doing it. It's not literal. It's just... Well, that's my fall bouquet of flowers, and I don't think I want to touch it anymore. Uh, Leslie, the red brush is a... Uh, Dynasty Pro, go to my resources page. I do have, um, I am a Dynasty Artisan. Oh, they just emailed me the other day. I just cleaned up this whole work surface. That is called a Stencil Brush Pro. And uh, they come in different dimensions, uh, different widths, I should say. But that's one of my favorite stencil brushes. That was it, man. I am not going to obsess. I mean, I want to obsess and I just want to add more and craziness, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to know that this is it. I like when things aren't literal. Kind of the light's coming in here, so I'm just darkening that up. I don't know. Is it my finest hour? No, but I think the pool guy would agree. <laughs> Black-eyed Susans, which I like, and a little bit of scribbling, and pretty much 
I, there was just one spot in here that seemed to have room for another flower. So I got it. All right. Well, um, <laughs> I would, I guess you could say, whoops, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to change cameras. Okay. I guess you could say we're done. <laughs> I do photograph everything I do. Um, every week I change it up. It's just more of, uh, what can we practice? What can we, in less than an hour, it's 619. I think I started about 545. I don't mind if we're just playing and that's exactly what we did. I seem to have the most amazing sunset. You can't see it because my window is blocked, but I hope that you enjoyed. It's just kind of a, a way to scribble and, and enjoy the process. You did. Okay. Jen said she liked the whole process and she finished it. Okay. Oh, I didn't record this. Well, darn it. All right. Not the end of the world. Well, this is recorded. Everything goes on my YouTube channel. Connie said I so needed this. I did too. Um, I want to thank you guys. By the way, next Wednesday, I am not going to be here. I am not going to be here next Wednesday. If by chance I can jump, I'm going to be remote. I will not be here next Wednesday. I am going to New Mexico. I just changed my flight to Wednesday. I will not be here, but I don't know what the time frame is. If it's something that I can do remote and I could be drawing, I will, but I will not be here. I will be traveling. So um, I, I, nope, I cannot be here at all. I just realized I'll be on an airplane. I will not be here. Uh, Art Masters is being filmed. In fact, that's where I'm going as I'm going to New Mexico. The episodes are going to drop um, in the fall, which we are in right now. Uh, I'm guessing soon because we're I'm on my last weekend of filming. So um, thank you so much for that. You guys, y'all have to paint. I'm going to I am going to be wearing cowboy boots. I'll be on an airplane because I land at 1030. So I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll do a Wednesday morning thing. Let me talk about that. I might do something on Wednesday morning before I travel. Maybe I'll do a little bit of this is how I travel with my art journal thing. Sorry about that. I never booked travel on Wednesdays, but I had to shift it all. I was, uh, moved it all over. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. So, whoops. Good. So you can see that. Um, I appreciate you guys all coming. For those of you who are new in your artful journey, uh, keep in mind you'll be onboarded into the Facebook group, I think, tomorrow. And um, we will have, um, oh, you'd like me to show my travel bag. I could probably do that. Maybe I'll do a Wednesday morning live and I'll record it. Uh, I'd love to share how I travel with my art stuff. Thank you so much for, and I will post my project when it is done. Um, it is done. I will post it tomorrow morning. The replay is always available on my YouTube channel. I just want to encourage you to create something every day um, and no matter what. And I want to say to uh, Wes, who is watching all over, uh, over all of us, I miss you so much, my friend. And thank you so much for a wonderful evening. I really need it tonight. I'll talk to you all soon.